What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. I wanted to show you some quick early action of the Battlefield 1 open beta on PC. I'm not actually going to jump into the gameplay on this one, but I did want to show you the UI. This is at least for PC, UI standing for User Interface. Uh, so you, at least you can get a good idea of what is going on here. This is the basic home screen right now for the beta. Notice we have home multiplayer. It's only a conquest 64 man and you also have rush 24 man. You can go in a server browser, which I will be doing a little later today. You also have store up here. Of course, they want you to pre-order battlefield one and then more. You have options and about over here on the left side. We do have Battlefield 1, which we're on. Battlefield 4 coming soon. That's the new UI on Battlefield 4. Career, obviously um, it's not keeping any stats right now. Watch coming soon and news. And of course you can go to Quick Match. Welcome to Battlefield 1 and they have their usual uh, rigmarole of stuff going on up here. Shortcuts, server browser, favorite servers, and options. I'm going to show you options right now so you can get an idea. First off, very polished looking and the music playing in the background. I turned it down a little bit. I've already come in here, messed around with the controls a little bit, but uh, I did uh, cut down on the volume some so you could hear me a little bit better. Uh, I messed around a little bit with the soldier mouse sensitivity, vehicle mouse sensitivity, of course, on PC, mouse, uh, and keyboard. When you are controlling vehicles, they are much more precise, and you can spin turrets on vehicles much faster than you can on console. I've already messed around with invert vertical look and invert vertical flight. I'll try and bring you some gameplay on that a little bit later. Control schemes, if you want to uh, pair up an Xbox 360 controller or a PS4 controller, there are plenty of tutorials on how to do that. They also have advanced settings over here for all sorts of sensitivity things, vehicle driver controls. It's you know, fairly well thought out for a beta. Uh, we're going to go back. Let's take a look at the gameplay. Uh, up here, show the HUD. Me mess around with vehicle seat info, stationary weapons, hit indicators, etc., etc. Mini map, ADS icon, opacity. Uh, over here on audio, I've already come in here and cranked the master volume down. The music was blasting through my headphones. It already picked up my Logitech. Well, it says they're Logitech. They're not. They're Sennheisers. But uh, put it on surround sound. Uh, I've got VoIP on, uh, game announcer voice. And you can also come down here and mess around with male or female. They are both in a English-British accent. Uh, over here in audio, that was audio, excuse me, we have uh, video. I did come in here and lock it at 2560 by 1440 at 59.95 refresh. I've set my monitor through the NVIDIA GeForce Experience to only refresh at a max of uh, 60, which is actually application controlled is what you want to set it to. I did come down here and mess around a little bit with the colorblind settings. This helps me a little bit on the battlefield. Moved the motion blur. It was up close to 50. I moved it down. I, I'm not a big fan of motion blur. Uh, let's go back and the final thing is key bindings. I did come in here and mess around a little bit with the key bindings. They're pretty standard for those of you who are used to PC. Uh, of course you have WSDA. Uh, you have look with the mouse. Jump and parachute are space. I messed around. Uh, actually sprint and scope were both left shift. Crouch, uh, I messed around and made it left alt. I just bound both of them real quickly. I just want to get into the gameplay. Left control is prone. Um, we have aim and fire excuse me, fire and aim is the way it's listed. Switch inventory up and down, that's your scroll wheel. Interact, that's to get in and out of vehicles or pick items up, is E. Select primary weapon, secondary weapon, gadget uh, one, gadget two. Down here, melee attack, I've already made it my scroll wheel, just click down on the uh, scroll wheel. Grenade, I left. Uh, cycle, fire mode, V, that's for your weapons. You go from, uh, I guess you can go from single fire over to automatic fire. I didn't mess around with that, I didn't mess around with that. Toggle primary weapon, I've already bound that to my left mouse button over by my thumb, so I have those quick switches. Some standard things going down here. Toggle, chase, enter vehicle, scoreboard, menu, full mini map, and full map. So you also have vehicle controls in plane, and you even have spectator controls right now in the beta. So this is your first look at it. Hopefully you're liking it. I will be bringing some gameplay in just a few minutes. If you would, pound that like button for this if you want to see more. And also, if you can leave any questions you have for me uh, as far as the UI or what you want to see in Battlefield 1, leave them in the comment section below. Until my first Battlefield 1 live commentary, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbear saying peace out.